For such dehumanizing blacks, violence may be the best choice. It turns out that just a few days ago, a white couple's vehicle suddenly broke down, and the husband told his wife to wait in the car while he went to a nearby town to ask for help. However, as soon as the husband's front feet left, a pair of black hands slowly opened the door, and the woman found that it was too late. The big black man had her pinned down, which soon reached the Ku Klux Klan, a white supremacist group that had long planned to exterminate the town's black population. They learned it, that another black man was rioting, and for a moment all the white men were on the edge of their seats. They grabbed their weapons, they rush out the door, and they're gonna make these bastards pay. Cannot wait for the three quit the party of the good men arrived. The old sheriff first first found the suspect. Since this was a black bar, he didn't want to cause trouble, so he let him out to talk. However, a black people, because of their large numbers, did not put the sheriff in the ice, not only directly admitted the matter, but also arrogantly described the entire process of committing the crime. The sheriff was completely angry, and he took out the arrest warrant he had prepared, ready to directly bring the bastard to justice. But the black man was not going to sit idly by. The old sheriff knows that these animals have no humanity at all, so he can only take the culprit back to the police station to deal with it. As soon as he left the bar, the clan car drove up. When the sheriff saw this, he quickly let the old black in the car, because if it fell into their hands, the black people would surely be chopped into meat. Sure enough, as soon as the car came to a stop, a group of white men with weapons surrounded the sheriff, shouting at him to hand over the criminal. The black people in the car almost cried, and there was no longer that arrogance before, because the last black man was roasted to death by the Ku Klux Klan. Fortunately, the old sheriff had always been respected in the town, and after his repeated requests and assurances, the white people finally agreed to take the black man back to the police station first. They had no choice but to return the same way. But just then, two passing black men caught their attention. They hold the principle of clearing one as one. The driver immediately hit the accelerator, but the black people cleverly escaped, and then picked up the stone on the ground and threw it at each other, which made the white people completely angry. They were already angry, so they immediately stopped and ran after them. Soon a black man fell to the ground because of his nervousness. He was so frightened that he could only struggle to crawl forward. When the white people saw this, they immediately carried him into the ear like hell in order to get justice for the women who had been hurt by the black man. The leading white man, without further ado, performed an operation on the spot. That wasn't enough. Then several men raised their guns and shot him several times. With several gunshots, the black man died instantly. The Negro, looking at the scene before him, was still completely afraid after his narrow escape and vowed that he would leave this place forever. But where could he have escaped to?